never grow tired or weary of singing the good news of the gospel, of the kingdom, of our resurrected God. Oh, come Holy Spirit, breathe upon the coals of our heart today. Come move, let us see it afresh. Let's sing this together. Sing, oh Lord, my God.
Take a moment right now as a church body and just let your whole self come into alignment with his lordship. Can we let our whole self come into alignment with his lordship? Some of you even today, you're like, I've made you my savior, but I need to make you my lord. I've made you my savior, but I have I made you my lord. And there's, I, I can feel it in the room, there's a yes, yes, yes. I need that. I want that. I want to make him Lord of my life. He's so good. He's so faithful. He's so true. He's so majestic. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. In whom else would I put my hand with trust? In whom else brings all grace and all mercy and favor? Who else brings the empowerment for this life that makes me not just a man, but filled with the power and life, resurrection power of Jesus? God, be Lord of my life again. I put a line in the sand even today. Lord, be my Lord again. A fresh commitment, a fresh fire. The areas that have felt dead, 
and detached, the areas that have felt dormant, breathe your life again. You are the Lord of life. You are living water in a dry desert land. You are the wellspring of life itself. You are a roaring fire in my bones. This is who you are. This is your promise. And I've tasted and I've seen that you are good and that you are life. And I say, I want more, Lord. I want more. Today, I want more, God, in my life. 